following video is for the Certified Private Equity Professional Program. In today's video, we're going to look at private equity fund of funds. First, what is a private equity fund of funds? A private equity fund of funds is a private equity firm that invests in funds instead of directly investing in companies, like a typical buyout fund would. So, in some ways, a fund of funds acts as both a general partner and a limited partner. A limited partner because a fund of funds chooses from a collection of funds, conducts due diligence on the managers of those funds, and ultimately provides capital to general partners. It acts, a private equity fund of funds acts as a general partner in that it relies on outside capital sources, including inst institutional investors, high net worth individuals, family offices, and others. So in this way, in this way it is very much like a general partner of a buyout fund. So these limited partners up here are going to provide capital to this PE fund of funds. Then the fund of funds is going to is going to invest in multiple private equity funds. So this could be a real estate PE fund. Pull this out. And this could be a tech venture capital fund. And this could be healthcare focused or bio focused private equity fund. So as we're going to discuss in a minute, this could provide some level of diversification because you're investing in different different private equity funds, although they don't have to be in different sectors. Some could just be different managers that you think might be able to generate returns in different ways or in different times. So the limited partners provide the capital to the private equity fund of funds. So that's uh, so the private equity fund of funds manager is constantly looking to raise capital from limited partners the same way that a buyout fund, a traditional one would. But then that private equity fund of funds is taking that capital and investing it in different private equity fund managers. Uh, as we can see here, it could be a real estate private equity fund, a tech venture capital fund, or a healthcare private equity fund, or any other type of private equity fund in order to achieve some sort of level of diversification. Now, to go further with this, a big benefit to private equity fund of funds is that it allows investors who might lack the knowledge or time to skillfully select a private equity fund to invest in. So the investor will invest in the fund of funds. So these limited partners may lack the knowledge, skill, or time, or energy that it takes to select a private equity fund manager, but they may feel comfortable with this private equity fund of funds, and so they're sort of delegating that responsibility to the PE fund of funds. So that, that is one benefit to this model. Another benefit is that the fund of funds often aims to diversify its private equity investments. So it may invest in various private equity sectors from tech to real estate. Uh, fund of funds also provide diversification in terms of geography and the stage of investment. So in, for instance, this venture capital fund is going to invest in smaller growth companies or startups, while the real estate private equity fund will take long-term investments uh, and it could be in all areas of the world. It could be in the emerg emerging markets. It could be in Brazilian real estate, uh, which is booming right now. Uh, that could be this fund. Well, this one's going to be focused on Silicon Valley. And so in terms of geography and the stage of the investment, it's definitely offering some diversification. Whereas if you just picked a number of private equity funds that are focused in, say, uh, South American real estate, you're not achieving any sort of diversification in that one fund. Uh, and so this is one benefit that investors uh, may cause investors to choose a fund of funds. Also, uh, the last benefit, uh, the last main benefit is that fund of funds may give an investor access to, uh, via the fund of funds, to some of the leading private equity funds in the world. Uh, whereas investing alone, the investor might uh, not be able to qualify for the fund or have the connection to the manager. So say you want to invest in Carlyle Group, but you don't have the access to that uh, to that fund that you want to get into, maybe the private equity fund of funds has that connection and therefore you can invest via this third party in the this inter intermediary into the Carlyle Fund, for example. Now, one of the biggest drawbacks to private equity fund of funds is fees. 
Investors are already highly sensitive to fees and a private equity fund of funds will often impose an additional layer of fees on investors. So this for many investors is the breaking point and why they don't choose to invest in a private equity fund of funds. The fees are simply too high. Uh, some private equity fund of funds have taken steps to address this by lowering fees or doing some sort of uh, incentives that may be more attractive to the investor, such as a hurdle rate. Uh, but ultimately, this is the biggest drawback to private equity fund of funds is just this fees that uh, investors are already pretty, uh, pretty averse to. And so to be able to justify an additional layer of fees is pretty difficult, but it is obviously done because there are a number of private equity fund of funds that you can choose from operating in the industry today. So fund of funds are also often active players in the secondary market. Uh, that is one of the big places that you'll see fund of funds. Uh, and I hope this was a good overview of private equity fund of funds, a good introduction to this area of private equity. Thank you for watching. This was the Certified Private Equity Professional Program.